Hi guys, welcome back. This is the 12th part of the CKA video series. And in this particular video, we are going to talk about two questions. So far, I have been getting quite a good response from our viewers and many people are clearing their exam with good marks. People are talking to me over LinkedIn and sharing their experience. And I'm trying to share all their experience and questions by continuing the video series. So without waiting much, let's get started. So the question is, there are various pods in all namespaces. Write a command into this particular file, final pods.sh, which list all pods sorted by their age, that is metadata.creation timestamp. Then we need to write a second command into this final pods uid.sh file, which list all pods sorted by field metadata.uid. We need to use kubectl command for sorting. So this is also a simple question. For this, we will be using the killer coda playground. So here we are on the control plane. We can start writing the kubectl command here. You can look for the command in kubectl cheat sheet as well. But this is a simple command. So the command is kubectl get pod. And since we need to look into all namespaces, so we are putting hyphen capital A. And then we are specifying the option hyphen hyphen sort by and then we are specifying on which basis we want to sort. So in metadata we want to sort on the basis of creation timestamp. So this will list all pods and the list will be sorted. We need to put this command in a bash file. However, you can simply run this and see the output. So as you can see we have got the result. So this is the path and the file name. So we need to create if this path doesn't exist slash opt slash course so this is the directory now we need to create the file okay this file should be find pods.sh let's put the command here let's save this file and we need to make this executable and this is giving us the desired result. So this is done. Now the next thing was to sort the pod by UID. So we are going to use the same command and we need to specify the hyphen A option because we want to see all the pods in all namespaces. And then we are specifying the option sort by and here we are sorting on the basis of UID. So this is the command and it has also given us the output we need to put this in the file since we have already created the required directory so we can directly create the file find pods uid.sh and here we need to put the command let's save this and we need to make this executable as well chmod plus x command We can try running this. Okay, this is working. So this question is complete now. The next question is about getting the control plane information. The question is, we need to SSH into the control plane node and check how the control plane component, kubelet, kube API server, kube scheduler, or all these components are installed on the control plane node. Also find out the name of the DNS application and how it started or installed on the control plane node. We need to write our findings into this file slash opt slash course slash eight and this file name. It should be structured like this. The type should be not installed process static pod or pod. Each component will be there that is kubelet and its type whether it's installed not installed or a static pod or a pod and same goes for all these components. So let's jump for the solution. I'm using the clear coda playground and here I am already on the control plane node. But just in case if you are not on control plane node, you can run kubectl get nodes and you can get the information here. 
since we are already on control plane but just in case if you are not on control plane node you can ssh into it using ssh control plane so this will be the command but since we are already here we are not going to do ssh we can simply jump on solving the question to see which components are controlled via system d we can simply check in etc system d system directory so let's find out in this directory and grab cube so the command looks like this we are just running the find command over the path etc system d system and we are just doing a grab for cube so as you can see the kubelet service is maintained by system d so only kubelet is there which is running by system d let's try to grab hcd so we don't see any service for hcd this shows that the kubelet is controlled via system d but no other service named cube or hcd it seems this cluster have been set up using cube adm so we can check the default manifest directory so let's check the default manifest directory that is etc kubernetes manifest now the thing is kubelet could also have different manifest directories specified via parameter hyphen hyphen pod manifest path we also need to check for kubelet manifest so let's run the command kubectl hyphen n cube system and get pod and grab control plane node that is control plane let me zoom out the content so there are other static pod with hyphen control plane as suffix which you can see here now let's check for the dns service and by running the command kubectl hyphen n cube system get deploy we see like code dns is installed so the dns service being used here is code dns so we have find out all these things now we are going to put this in the file so let's create the directory mkdir hyphen p and the directory name is slash opt slash core slash 8 let's go inside this and we need to create the file control plane component dot txt and here i am just going to put all the details in the given format so kubelet is a process cube api server static pod scheduler static pod controller manager static pod hcd static pod so we saw like uh, these were static pods and the dns service is a pod running with core dns so this is how you can check all the components and save this so this is the required file that we have created and i have used all these commands to get the information so this is it for this video. I hope you are enjoying solving all the question. I have few courses on Udami and just in case if you are following along this video series and if you are interested to buy a discount coupon for any of my Udami course then feel free to follow me on LinkedIn or Twitter and message me to get a discount coupon.